welcome back to my channel uh, uh, this is nageshwar rao today i'm going to explain uh, uh, terminology of cryptography okay. what are the important terminologies we are using in cryptography the next video i'll explain about what are the different types of uh, cryptographic techniques right what are the various terminologies that we can use in uh, cryptographic environment i'll explain that. okay what are the terminologies we are uh, given time while, while we are uh, studying about this cryptography we are going to use some terminologies here it's important words terminologies of cryptography right so first we will see what is cryptography okay so after that uh, we will see what are the important uh, things that are uh, that we can use or words we can use okay so first we will see what is the definition of cryptography so this is very very important what is cryptography we can simply define cryptography as it is a science because without science and mathematics we cannot do anything right so which is a science cryptography is a science of cryptography is a science of using mathematics right so science of using i uh, will tell you why mathematics is a word uh, uh, came in this using mathematics mathematics science of using mathematics encrypt and decrypt the data right to encrypt because in cryptography in cryptography we are going to encrypt and decrypt the data i'll tell you because these two are very very important words in cryptography decrypt right so why we are using mathematics as a word in this cryptography means so generally we are going to write the algorithms right we are going to write algorithms or programs those are called as ciphers or Algor uh, yeah, cryptographic algorithms. So generally, most of the algorithms are involved. Almost all the algorithms, not most, almost all the algorithms are involved with mathematical computations. So we are going to involve mathematical computations for encrypting the data as well as decrypting the data, right? So the definition of cryptography is it is a science of using mathematics to encrypt and decrypt the data. decrypt the data or message or information right so generally this is the technology generally the participants are using to communicate any message in secured manner because their aim is not to disclose this particular sensitive information to any other third party right only the two parties two parties means one party is called as sender generally sender means who initiates the message for sending right so he is called as sender and another party is opposite he is waiting for this particular message then we call him as receiver right so there are two parties in this particular communication one party is called sender another party is called receiver so generally sender initiates the message for sending and receiver is uh, uh, going to receive this particular message but that message must be shared or sent in secured manner to receiver secured manner means no criminal no or attacker should be attacking this message and updating even attacker attacks the channel and the he, he can extract the information but he cannot read that information because they uses this mathematics for encrypting the data and decrypting generally encryption done at sender side and decryption is the opposite operation okay na so by using that decryption you can again restore the message okay you can restore the message then we will see so which message the sender finalizes so generally sender play sends original message right sender sends original message that original message is also called plain text in the uh, in the information security scenario we can call this particular original message as plain text right we can call it as plain text so what do you mean by plain text plain text is the original message that particular message is transmitted by the sender to the receiver 
but that message must be conveyed in secured manner so that's why sender using encryption as a operation by using that encryption sender converts plain text into another form i will tell you right that the receiver end receiver must restore it and read it right so for restoring purpose receiver uses decryption operation or decryption algorithm generally decryption algorithm is also encryption algorithm in uh, symmetric cryptography i will tell you the types of cryptography in next video right uh, this is opposite but which performs in reverse the that encryption okay na so what is plain text now so plain text is the original message the sender wants to send this particular message to receiver right and uh, generally sender using encryption process right for conducting encryption he uses encryption algorithm or encrypt encrypting algorithm right encryption algorithm so this is another term which come across right encryption algorithm so what do you mean by encryption algorithm the algorithm which is used for converting by using this algorithm by using this algorithm we we convert plain text into we convert plain text plain text into another form so that particular converted form is called cipher text plain text into cipher text so this is the aim of encryption algorithm okay na so encryption is a process right encryption is a process we involve that particular process to convert plain text into cipher text with the help of encryption algorithm there are so many encryption algorithms in the world right so by using those encryption algorithms sender can convert plain text into cipher text right another word we see now what is cipher text right another uh, word here is cipher text so what is cipher text cipher text is a converted form right cipher text is a converted message we also call it as coded message right converted message so this converted message is uh, this converted message is placed on to communication channel right generally uh, sender and receiver this sender and receiver using communication channel communicate sender and receiver using communication channel any established communication channel or internet they may use internet right they may use internet or any other communication channel for sharing the information right so after converting plain text into cipher text sender places that particular information onto communication channel or by using internet they can share the or sender can send the information to receiver right so what is cipher text cipher text is a converted message this message is converted by using encryption algorithm but this encryption algorithm is also using another important thing as key right so we call it as encryption key so key is very very important so this key may be group of characters this key may be uh, group of characters okay na this key may be group of characters or digits okay na a group of characters or digits with the help of this particular key or keys sender uses encryption algorithm so this encryption algorithm is receiving one input as message right that message is plain text we call it as plain text and another input is key so with the help of this particular key sender can encrypt the information and the encryption result is cipher text right encryption encryption algorithm produces cipher text as output okay na so that output that cipher text is forwarded to receiver right so at the receiver end what is the duty of receiver now receiver must read the information right then receiver conducts decryption the opposite operation is decryption operation right receiver uses decryption algorithm receiver uses receiver uses decryption algorithm right so by using the decryption algorithm receiver can store the information with the help of again key right of course based on based on encryption type or cryptographic encryption uh, cryptographic algorithm type we we know there are two types of algorithms i i'll explain neatly in next video right 
So there are uh, asymmetric key cryptography, decimetric key cryptography algorithm. So based on based on nature of the algorithm, either symmetric or asymmetric. Symmetric means same key. If sender uses key K1, the receiver must also use KK1, right? Symmetric means same key must be used by sender and receiver. And in asymmetric key cryptography, oh, sender uses one particular key and the receiver must use the related key. Because in that particular scenario, the users must generate pair of keys, right? Users must generate pair of keys. Pair of keys that two related keys. If you use one key for encryption, then another end, the, the related key must be used for decryption. Then only decryption can be successful, right? Then only the receiver can restore the original information. But in symmetric, if sender uses K1, receiver must also use K1, right? Like that, then the symmetric key cryptographic algorithms are written or developed, right? Okay, sender uses K1 for converting plain text into ciphertext. Then receiver must also use K1 for restoring plain text from the ciphertext, right? Uh, so they, this is a decryption algorithm, right? And uh, some more uh, terminologies are there. I'll explain it. So some more terminologies are there. I'll explain. Okay. Uh, so those terminologies are uh, based on based on all this. Uh, we can uh, categorize those terminologies as only the crypt analysis. Generally, uh, that crypt analysis is related to analyst means uh, opposite opposite person or criminal or attacker, right? Attacker. Because script analysis means generally attackers are doing that particular analysis for restoring the information. That particular analysis for restoring the information. So analyzing, right? Script analysis. Script analysis means generally opponent or criminal. Opponent or criminal or attacker, right? Opponent is also called as attacker. Okay, na? attacker or in the cyber security terms, we call him as criminal. Either attackers or criminals, they are staying on channels, communication channel, because through channel only, through channel that may be either internet or any other established communication channel, sender and receiver are sharing the information, right? So these criminals or attackers are staying on the channel and they are trying to extract the information by using their own analysis process, right? So script analysis that. So cryptanalysis generally it is also a science, right? Cryptanalysis is also a science as cryptography. Here, this, this particular science is used for analyzing and breaking. They are using this particular science for analyzing, analyzing the channel or flow of information and breaking the channel, breaking the communication. So ultimate aim of this criminals or attackers is to break the communication channel and attack uh, extracting the information that is flowing through the channel by using their own technologies or techniques so cryptanalysis is defined as it is a science of course they are also using their own technologies or algorithms by using those algorithms they are analyzing communication they are analyzing traffic flow and they are also trying to break the communication channel and their aim is to extract the information their target is to which information is flowing through that particular communication channel. So that is the main target of criminal or opponent or attacker to know, right? So this is called as script analysis. Okay. So if you combine, if you combine, uh, if you combine cryptography and script analysis, so those two terms together is called as cryptology. Okay. Na? So one more important word is there. One more important word. That is cryptology. Very, very important. This is cryptology. So what is cryptology now? So cryptology is combination of cryptography and cryptanalysis. So two terms combination. Cryptography is one term and cryptanalysis is another term. Crypt, cryptanalysis, right? Another term is script analysis. Script analysis. Right? We know cryptography and script analysis both are science. Both are related to science. Okay, na? And both are using mathematics, right? But cryptography is a science which is used for providing security. So this is used for providing 
security. Generally, authorized authorized participants are using this technology. Cryptography technology is used for providing security, but cryptanalysis is used by the criminals or attackers. This is also a science. They are also using mathematical uh, algorithms, but they are using in the opposite purpose, right? For their own purpose, they are using cryptanalysis technology or technique, right? But the aim is to analyzing the communication and breaking the communication and extracting the information, important information that is flowing between sender and receiver. So these two words, cryptography and cryptanalysis words together called as cryptology, cryptology, right? Okay, now, and uh, one more important word is there, one more important word that is uh, crypto system, very, very important. Crypto system. Another important word is crypto system. What do you mean by system? We know all together we call it as crypto system, right? What do you mean by system? Generally, the system means all the parts together. Okay, now here also, here also we can define crypto system as very simple. Uh, crypto system. Okay. Uh, Okay, uh, what is crypto system? So, uh, okay, uh, while writing, I'll explain here. Crypto system means uh, cryptographic algorithms, cryptographic algorithms, uh, whatever the keys you use, cryptographic algorithms, and the keys and the protocols also. Okay, now protocols. All these are combinedly called as. All these are combinedly called as crypto system. Okay, na? so crypto crypto system, right? So what is crypto system now? This crypto system is containing this crypto system is containing cryptographic algorithms, cryptographic algorithms, right? The top is Whatever the setup keys, those setup keys used by the sender and receiver, and the very very important is protocols, because this protocol is used to it is making use of these right. So protocol is also very very important. So these are combinedly called algorithm crypto. Whatever the cryptographic algorithm you are using for sending the information in secure manner, and whatever the keys help you are taking as a sender. Or as a receiver, whatever the key self you are taking to make that particular communication as secured, and uh, which protocol level we are implementing that particular algorithm, or which protocol we are using this particular scenario. So all this, these three terms together we call it as crypto system, right? So we call it as crypto system. And so to one more uh, important uh, word uh, is there for encryption. We call it as enciphering also. So encryption, another name is enciphering. Encryption, right? So encryption, another name is enciphering. Enciphering, right? Enciphering. And decryption is same. Deciphering, right? Decryption, another name is deciphering, right? Decryption, another name is de de deciphering. Ci, dhcring because Algorithms are called ciphers. M ciphering and D ciphering or another names for encryption and decryption, right? Okay. Na? So uh, these are the very, 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 very important words that we come across while reading the cryptographic concepts. Okay. Na? Once again, I'll uh, tell you what first term is cryptography, second term is uh, uh, encryption algorithm, third term is decryption algorithm. And uh, what is encryption algorithms? If you Side algorithms, encryption is the process. Decryption is also a process, right? But encryption, uh, encryption is a process which is used for converting plain text into ciphertext. And decryption is a process which is used for converting ciphertext into plain text, right? But uh, with the help of algorithms, we conduct encryption and decryption with the help of key also. One more important uh, thing along with the message, we are also inputting key to both encryption algorithm and decryption algorithm, right? And other are plain text and ciphertext and uh, crypto, like cryptography, cryptology. Crypto systems, so right? That's so many, so many words that are coming across, right? But 
So how can you say this uh, encrypted uh, data is very secure? So depending on two important terms, we can say that the encryption algorithms are very secure. Okay, na? Security, of security of data transmission is depending on one is uh, strength of the algorithm, right? If algorithm is very, very strengthened, strength of algorithm. Okay, na? if algorithm is very strengthened, and so many complex mathematical expressions are involved. And, and another important point is secrecy of the, how, how secret you are maintaining. Uh, secrecy. Okay, the secrecy of key because both sender and receiver must use these keys for encrypting as well as decrypting, right? So the strength of, the strength or secret, security of cryptography algorithms so are depending on our data secure data data transmission security at strength of security our data transmission is depending on these two important points one is strength of algorithm how strength this particular algorithm is and the second one is how security you are maintaining as a center and receiver how security you are maintaining these keys so depending on these two points we say that uh, our uh, encrypted data is very secure okay na? so that's why the data security is depending on entirely, completely depending on these two terms. So generally we come across these two important uh, points. We come across these two important points while studying about uh, say, uh, while studying about cryptography, right? While studying about cryptography. So thank you for uh, watching my video. Thank you.